KSAT 12 typically does not report on school threats unless it is deemed credible or an arrest is made. The law enforcement response and the rush from parents had us investigate exactly what was going on at Jefferson. Again, there was no shooting, no weapon found on the campus of Jefferson High School today. Even still, emotions obviously very high outside of Jefferson as parents waited for information and for their students to be released. One man even punched out a window during all of that. He was not charged given the emotion of that situation. Yeah, and the tragedy in Uvalde likely not far from parents' minds today. The 19th's John Paul Baraja spoke to a former detective and a psychiatrist who say today's scene was a clear impact of the shooting in Uvalde. You know, what you see there is anxiety, fear, frustration, but it's piled on top of a lot of anger. I mean, you can hear the anger. The anger comes from the distrust. Much of that distrust stems from the failures of law enforcement just four months ago in Uvalde. Psychiatrist Dr. Harry Croft says the trauma of Robb Elementary can create fear of a similar tragedy that likely led to parents rushing officers at Jefferson High School and almost two weeks ago families swarming New Braunfels High School for what turned out to be non-credible threats at both schools. <laughs> Former detective Michael Helley says this is likely the new normal for school threat responses. They need to figure out who the bad guys are and who the good guys are, right, when the first responders that are coming in. And the worst thing to have happen is, is a parent that is a licensed carry. They don't know who this person is. All they know is that they've got a, somebody with a gun. And all of a sudden, boom, here we see somebody with a gun. Both Helly and Dr. Croft say communication is key for those in charge. Getting out accurate information as soon as possible can ease tensions and keep emotions from boiling over. But Croft adds officials will need to rebuild trust with parents. The more we discuss this and bring it out in the open, including our own frustration, our own anger, and, and little by little, we'll learn more and more ways to cope. Until that's reached, Helly says officials need to find a way to handle potential threats and parents who still lack faith in law enforcement. If we don't have a good plan in place, then something bad is really going to happen. And I God bless everybody that's still there, that's still doing the job, because it is immensely a lot more difficult than when I was there. Former Detective Helly says he completely understands why the parents reacted the way they did, but that doing so can make those situations so much more dangerous for everyone involved. John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News.